What's up, Miami? How are you guys? Me and my team have been fired up to get back here. It's been 20 years. We're finally back with an amazing card this weekend. Who's got the first question? Start with the champ, please. Uh, Alex, just wanted to ask you, you've, you've had a chance to fight Israel Adesanya three times now, but just once in MMA. I'm curious kind of what you learned in the last fight or what surprised you in the last fight that you weren't aware of before. Alex, você teve a chance de lutar contra o Adesanya já três vezes, duas vezes fora e uma aqui no UFC. O que você aprendeu com essas lutas contra ele? Bom, sempre aprendendo, né? Foi uma luta dura. Eu aprendi que eu tenho que estar mais atento. Todo mundo sabe que o Adesanya é um cara perigoso, é um cara experiente, é um cara inteligente. Então, vem aprendendo muito e eu sei que eu tenho que ficar mais esperto com ele. Always learning in my life. I know that Adesanya is a dangerous, complete fighter. Someone who's uh, always taking advantage of, uh, of opponent's weaknesses. I have to be more attentive to him. Always paying attention, because he can do things. And Alex, of course, you're already 3-0 against Israel. You are the champion at this point. So what's at stake here for you? I mean, what does this fight mean to you? E você, 3-0 contra ele, três vitórias, nenhuma derrota. O que que tá em jogo para você agora? O que que você, que que você quer dessa luta? Bom, eu não estou vendo essas três lutas que passaram, porque, como eu falei, ele é um cara experiente, é, ele, foi o ex ele é o ex-campeão. Então, se eu chegar dentro daquele octógono e eu não fizer nada do que eu treinei, ele vai ganhar de mim. Então, eu tenho que esquecer essas lutas e agora vai ser uma próxima luta e eu estou preparado. I'm not thinking about those three fights. As I said, he's a former champion, a great champion, a very dangerous fighter. If I stay, if I keep those three fights in my head, I'm not going to do things the way I needed to. I trained for this one. I am prepared for this new fight. And Israel, for you, I wanted to ask you a similar question as well. Obviously, you've had three fights with Alex at this point. I mean, were there, was there anything in the mixed martial arts contest that surprised you or was different than you expected, or do you feel like you know this man 100% at this point? I'd say his uh, recovery and his fighting spirit. That's something that I definitely felt like he, um, he surprised me with. But Saturday night, time for talking is done. I'm going to show him my fighting spirit. And you all know I have that shit. And for you, Izzy, on, on Saturday, what is most important to you? Is it about regaining the UFC title and being world champion again, or is it simply beating Fuck the belt. I'm coming for his head. Friends for Jorge Masvidal. Obviously, the big storyline. The big story this week, it's been 20 years since we came to Miami. Do you think the UFC was waiting for a fighter like yourself from here to come back from Miami? I think you should ask him right there. That's Dana, that question, man, because uh, I, I help influence decisions, but he calls the shots at the end, so uh, I, I think that's a Dana question. So then I'll ask you, Dana White, I'll ask the same question. Were you look, waiting for a fighter like Jorge Masvidal to finally return to Miami? Listen, whenever you can come to, uh, you know, somebody's hometown that's a superstar like he is, I mean, it's fun, it's exciting, it's energetic. You, you know that when, when they both come out of the tunnel on Saturday night, it's just that, that goosebump moment that's going to be, it's badass, and it's, you don't see it in any other sport. So, yeah. The answer to your question is yes. Another one for Jorge. I guess what can fans expect from you on Saturday when you do get locked in there with Gilbert? Violencia. 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 Cojones. Pinga. Me cago en toda esta gente. Los voy a matar. Llevo entrenando mucho tiempo. Y esto va para la gente que me entiende lo que estoy diciendo. Voy a representar. Y voy a darlo todo para que ganemos y representar la cultura de los otros. Cierto o no, so, toda mi gente, no se preocupen, yo me vengo preparando mucho tiempo antes de esta pelea. Sepa, no hay nada que pueda hacer más que recibir la paliza. Bendiciones a todos, gracias a toda mi ciudad por apoyarme siempre. Ya ustedes saben, violencia nada más, cojones. A lot of violence tonight to all the people that understand me. This is for you. I've been training a lot. This is for my city. This is for the people that are here. It's all for you. I've been training a lot. I'm all for about this. Violence all the way. I just have to ask, what is this thing you're wearing on your neck right here? I'm a dog. It's a dog collar, and I'm about to be unleashed. Raul, you've been, you've been thrusted into the spotlight at a very young age, and not only has it not affected you, but you're thriving. What is it about you that makes you or allows you to shine under high pressure? <clears throat> uh, I just believe in my skill set. That's why I'm here, and that's why I'm going to continue to grow 
We're just getting started and we're coming for that belt. And for Cristian Rodriguez, what do you make of Raul? Obviously, somebody that's bursted into the scene. Uh, do you buy the hype? Is he as good as people make him out to be? Yeah, I think he's such a good fighter. With, um, he's Mexican, of course, so I know all the um, good skills that he brings. And, and for Dana, we know that uh, the UFC sometimes has these uh, cities that they visit annually. Can the 305, can Miami become this city that gets a UFC event annually? Yes. Was that question for me? Yes, for you. Yeah, say it again louder. Can Miami become a city where it's like an annual host of a UFC event? Like yes. All day. All day. All day. He said yes. So, so let, let me tell you this. So last time we came to Miami was 20 years ago. We did a, uh, we did a gate of like uh, $446,000 20 years ago. We came back here this time. This is one of the all-time biggest gates. This is the biggest gate outside of Las Vegas and outside of Madison Square Garden. We will definitely be coming back to Miami. Oh, holy. And another for you, Dana. Uh, both Gilbert Burns and Masvidal have said in the lead up to this fight that they believe that if they do something spectacular on Saturday, they can surpass Colby Covington and get the next welterweight title shot. Uh, do you think there's a chance that they might change your mind on Saturday? Do you leave a little room for that? Well, listen, Colby Covington, like him or not, the guy showed up in London. He cut weight. He did what he was supposed to do. Ooh. He deserves the fight against Leon. There's no doubt. We'll see how this fight turns out on Saturday Ooh, night. And, come on, and, come and, on. And the best case scenario is one of these guys are next. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. When's the last time he finished somebody? Well, I know Dana likes action, so. Você treina aqui na Flórida, o Masvidal treina na Flórida. Camaro Usman treinou aqui e o Kobe treina aqui. Eu faço duas perguntas em cima disso. Uma, qual o segredo da Flórida de ter tantos campeões nessa categoria em específico? E segundo, quem é o rei da Flórida e por quê? Hey, you train in Florida, uh, Masvidal trains in Florida, Camaro trains in Florida, a lot of champions train in Florida. I have two questions for you. First, what is the secret behind Florida? And two, who is the real king of Miami? Uh, we love the, we love Florida, you know? All the Brazilians, everyone that comes here, it looks like real humid, nice. I've been here on 10 years. I know you guys love George, all the respect, but I've been here 10 years. And I'm gonna put on a show. And Saturday night, we're gonna find out. You might guys, you guys get a new king on Saturday, we'll see. Hey, champion, do you think it's going to be more of a psychological fight or a physical fight? É, então, vai ser uma luta psicológica e física. Todo mundo sabe, né? Eu falo para vocês que a gente tem que esquecer essas três lutas que passaram. Mas o Adesanya, ele nunca vai esquecer essas lutas. Aconteça o que aconteça, ele nunca vai esquecer. Então, eu uso isso ao meu favor, mas o principal vai ser no sábado. It's going to be a physical fight, it's going to be a psychological fight. I've said as many times, we have to forget all those three fights. But I know he hasn't forgotten any of those three fights. And I think that's going to be a psychological factor. The important thing is what you're going to see on Saturday. Go ahead. Question for the former champion, Israel Adesanya. When you stand at the podium making your Hall of Fame speech one day, where do you visualize this fight camp, this soon-to-be war for UFC 287 ranking among the career milestones? You mean the fight camp or the fight? The fight. This fight, like I've said, this is my eight-mile eight moment. This is it. One more shot at this. I put everything on my back. I've done everything in my power to make sure I do the worst thing to this man this weekend. I'm, I'm done with this talking shit. You guys want to hear me talk or you want to hear me fight? Ele fez isso nas últimas três lutas. Ele falou a mesma coisa e não fez. Who did this the past three fights? He said the same things it and there's always that. He doesn't even understand what I said, not understand what you said. What's going to happen this weekend is we're going to fight and see who the best man is at the end. Ele me faz rir. He makes me laugh. And question for the trailblazer, Kevin Holland. WWE, UFC merger, one umbrella. Past or present, professional wrestling. If you could take one person with a steel chair to the skull, who would it be? Or UFC fighter, wrestling ring. No comment, I'm trying not to get in trouble. Thank you. 
Yesterday at media day, you seemed locked in. You didn't do too much talking, and you said you was ready to fight today. Is this the most locked in you've been for a UFC fight? Yes, it's the most locked in I've ever been. And again, time for talking's almost done. Saturday night, yeah, we'll fight. And this question is, Mr. This question is for Mr. 305. You told me yesterday we was cleaning up Vegas. 63% of the money at DraftKings is riding with you. The people out here, we want to know, is we getting the job done on Saturday? Put the house on it. It's time we clean out Vegas one more time, everybody. All the goons know what I'm talking about. Let go. Patan, quando as portas do octógono se fecharem no sábado, você vai olhar para frente, vai ver um cara que você já venceu três vezes. Ele vai olhar e vai ver um cara que ele perdeu três vezes. O quanto esse peso psicológico pode jogar o seu favor e contra ele? Você já passou por alguma situação assim na sua carreira? Alex, when those doors close on Saturday, you're going to be looking at a guy that you beat three times. He's going to be looking at a guy that beat him three times. Uh, how much of a factor does that go into to play? And have you ever faced a situation like that? Com certeza, isso vai me ajudar muito. Desde a primeira luta que eu tive com ele, ele viu a minha evolução. Eu assisti a, a, algumas lutas de, daquele tempo para cá. Esse cara não mudou muito, mudou pouca coisa. Eu mudei totalmente. E ele sabe que eu mudei. E ele sabe o quanto eu, tô, eu sou perigoso. Of course, that's going to play a, a big thing on Saturday. Ever since, uh, he, this guy has seen how much I've evolved from fight one to fight three. And I've watched a lot of fights from back in the day. And I have evolved so much. He has not changed a lot. And he understands how dangerous and how much I can do. Durinho, Gilbert Burns, as três últimas lutas do Mas Vidal, ele se preparou para caras da luta agarrada, né? Duas vezes o Usma, uma o Kobe Covington. Você é um cara que vem do jiu-jitsu, mas evoluiu tanto em pé que virou também um nocauteador, todo mundo respeita muito a sua mão. Nesse sábado, o Mas Vidal deve tomar mais atenção com a sua parte em pé, a sua luta no chão. Qual é o maior perigo que você acredita que leva para ele no sábado? During the last three fights, Masvidal has to uh, prepare himself for um, a grappling because of who's won in Covington. And how does he feel? I mean, now you guys, you come from Jiu-Jitsu. What does he have to worry about? That you're going to take him to the ground? Or are you going to be standing up and striking? I'm coming with everything. I'm throwing everything on this guy, or I'm going to knock him out, or I'm going to finish him. I'm coming for a finish. Masvidal, você ganhou o título do BMF contra o Nate Diaz. E disse que em caso de derrota para o Durinho, você pode eventualmente se aposentar. Você acha justo com os outros lutadores que almejam esse cinturão é, não receberem as chances de lutar por ele? Hey, Masvidal, you're the BMF champion and you, you got this title on your own and then you said that maybe in a case of a loss you retire. Do you think it's fair to other fighters that want that BMF title? For starters, I'll say there's many BMFs, there's many BMFs sitting up right here with me. Um, so... Yeah, we'll definitely put that title up again. You know, I just want to get a nice winning streak and knock some people's heads out. We're going to put that title right back up, you know. Miami, I love you.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.